Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and let's get right into today's video. So today I have some gel liners by the brand Beatles. Beatles was kind enough to send this over as a PR package and these are their Valentine's Day or Valentine's themed gel liners and I was so excited to use these. When I opened these up to take a sneak peek before filming this video, I was just so in love with the colors. This does include the little instruction paper here. It just pretty much sums up what you're supposed to do with the gel liners. Pretty self-explanatory. And then it also includes six different colors of gel liners. And if you are unsure what gel liners are, they are a gel polish but they do have a liner brush built in. That way you don't need to worry about switching out your brush for doing any type of nail art. I really do love the bottle for these. On the back, you can see the instructions and the storage and everything like that. And these are also 7 ml bottles, so they are a very nice size. All of the colors are super pretty, so I'm going to go ahead and swatch them here. And as you can see right here, I'm just going to talk for this one, but you can see the brush is a liner brush. I really like gel art liners because they are very convenient and easy to use when it comes to doing nail art. I love that it is very convenient and you already have the liner brush built into the gel polish instead of using a palette and then dipping in a separate line art brush. So I really love liners. I have tried McCart's gel liners in the past. I've tried Burano's gel liners in the past. And I just love that companies are starting to come out with gel liners a lot more. And I was super excited that I got to try these Beatles gel liners. And these are their Valentine's Day themed collection. But honestly, these colors will be perfect for any time of the year if you are a pink nail person like I am because this set technically just had pink colors, it had a red, it had one glitter, and then it also included a neutral which was a white. So I really thought this was a great little kit and I cannot wait to show all the nail art that I did in today's video. So if you haven't already read by the title, I am doing another nail collab. And today's nail collab, I am doing it with the one and only Slay by Jay. I have loved her channel so much and I am just so happy that we are doing a nail collab. I really cannot believe it. I have been watching her way before I started my own nail channel and been posting my own nail content, so I am just so happy that the queen is doing a nail collab with me. The nail collab is basically we are both going to be using some gel liners to create a super fun and cute Valentine's Day nail set. So thank you so much Slay by Jay for coming along this journey with me and doing this nail collab with me. I will have her YouTube channel and her Instagram. I will pop it up on screen and I will also link it down below so you guys can be sure to go subscribe to her YouTube channel and follow her on Instagram. And after you are finished watching this video, be sure to hop over to her channel and watch her nail set and her video to see the nail set that she created for this nail collab. So as you can tell, I am doing the Lazy Girl slash Femi Beauty method for today's nail set. I went ahead, I sized out my full cover 3XL square nail tips from AliExpress. I absolutely love these nail tips. I have been getting a lot of comments about them and they will be linked down in the description box if you are interested in purchasing them. I am also using the Nude A Siesta by McCart. This is my favorite nude poly gel and I am very often to pick it up. I just really love this color and if I'm doing a nail art set, I'm normally using a nude and I'm normally using this nude. 
So I will also have this link down below because I am using it quite a bit and I use it for all of the nails. That way I can use it as the full cover base for the nails. It is also super simple to do the Lazy Girl slash Femi Beauty method. So I really do like doing this method and I did it in today's nail set just because I wanted to quickly get my nails on and quickly just have all nude nails that way I can jump right into the fun part which is the Valentine's Day nail art. I absolutely loved this set even though it took me about two hours to do. This was one of my longer sets just because it did have a lot of nail art but that is okay because I loved it and I know that you guys will as well. So let me explain a little bit about the Femi Beauty method in case you are new to this method. It is pretty similar to the dual form method, but instead of popping off the full cover nail tips as you would the dual forms, you do leave on the full cover nail tips and they act as a shape and pretty much the strength of the nail. You will want to take your poly gel and squeeze the poly gel to the inside of the full cover nail tip and then you will use your brush and slip solution. For my slip solution, I personally like to use 91% isopropyl alcohol, but you could also use the slip solution that comes with most kits or you could use slip solution in a bottle. Totally whichever one works better for you will work best for you. So then I just take my brush and I mold the poly gel to the inside of the nail tips and this is very simple and easy to do. You just do a pat pat motion to mold the poly gel and in this method just remember a little bit of poly gel goes a long way and it is never too hard to remove any poly gel or add any poly gel. Since this, I have found out that doing all of the nails first and then applying them to my natural nails has been a lot easier and quicker for me. It also saves time so your hand is not always in the lamp. That is what I've been liking to do. After I have all of the nails molded, I am going to be applying a DIY peel off base coat. For this, I apply my cuticle oil, rub that in, and then I apply my top coat and cure for 30 seconds. If you want your nails to last, you do not do this step. You will need to do a nail prep for your nails to last, but since I will be popping these off, I did opt for a peel off base coat method. So now I'm just popping the full cover nails off of their nail stands and gently placing them onto my natural nails just as I would a press on nail. And because the length of these nails are very long, they do like to bend towards the tip of the nail and it just creates a big mess. So instead of putting it into my lamp one by one, to prevent them from sliding off of my nails, I'm just using my flashy light and just doing a very quick flash cure. That way they do stay in place while I'm placing the other nail. And then in the end, once I have all of the nails on, I will be curing in my big lamp for 60 seconds on top and 60 seconds underneath. After the nails are all cured, I'm taking a lint-free wipe and just wiping away the tacky layer. Now I'm going in with my Beatles hand file. This is a 18080 grit and I'm just crisping up the shape of the nails and filing around the cuticle area just to remove any excess poly gel and just clean up the cuticle area to make the nails look a bit more natural and flush around the cuticle area. I also do go in with a buffing block just to remove any excess poly gel from the tops of the nails and to remove the shine from these nails. That way my top coat and nail art will have a good surface to stick and last. After I am all finished buffing and filing, I'm taking my dust brush to remove any excess dust and then I am going to be going in with the Beatles matte top coat. I am deciding on going in with the matte top coat. That way if I do mess up on any of my nail art, it is easy to remove and I also feel that doing nail art on a matte top coat is just a lot easier than a glossy top coat. 
So here are all of the colors one last time, and also I popped up a picture of the inspo and the inspiration of where I got this nail set from. So I just wanted to let everyone know I did get inspiration. I found that picture on Instagram, and that is where this inspo for this nail set came from. So I'm just going to go ahead and start off with the light pink gel liner. I'm not sure of the name. I believe Pink Carnation. I showed it before I started, but anyways, I am going to be using this color gel liner to create a French tip on my index and on my pinky. And I just loved using these gel liners so much. I really do love gel liners. I believe that they are very easy to use and just more convenient. The only problem was when I was doing these French tips, because the nails are so long, it was a little bit hard to fill in the French tip with such a small brush. But it's okay, I managed and I really did love these gel liners overall because with all of the other nail art, they were very simple and easy to use and I'm glad that I did not have to keep reaching for a different line brush. So I'm just going in with a cleanup brush and I'm cleaning up the smile line and then I cured for 30 seconds in my nail lamp and now I'm going to be repeating that same exact thing on my pinky. So I just wanted to let everyone know that I am so thankful and I did finally reach 1,000 subscribers. So thank you guys so much. I could not have done it without all of you. I am so thankful for each and every one of you and I just love reading all the loving comments and getting all the support from you guys. It is totally the best thing in the world and I really cannot believe that I hit 1,000 subscribers. It has been my dream and my goal and I finally did it and I wouldn't have been able to do it without you guys. So thank you, thank you so much and I cannot wait to see how far I go with this nail journey and my YouTube channel. So one last time, thank you all so very much. And after both of my French tips are now cured, we are now going to be moving into the nail art. I guess the French tips were nail art too, but now we're going to be doing some more fun nail art. So I am going to be using three of the gel liners. I'm going to be starting off with this glitter gel liner. Absolutely loved this glitter shade. It was so pretty. And I'm just going to be taking these three gel liners and creating kind of like a swirl design on the French tips. I don't know if it'd be called a swirl or just like a line, but you, you see what I mean. This was very easy to do and I feel like very beginner friendly. It did take me a very long time just because it was a more complex nail set, but I feel like everything that I did, I did not struggle with, and it was very simple and easy to do, especially doing it with these Beatles gel liners. So everything that I am doing on my index finger, I am copying that same exact thing and doing it on my pinky. So I am only going to be showing my index finger because this video is quite a longer video just because I took quite a while on the nail set and I didn't want it to... I did not want to add in parts over and over again, so you will just see me do one finger for every nail art that is the same. So I'm just now taking this white and continuing the stripe, and then I will also be using the hot pink color and creating another little stripe on the nail as well. And I did cure in between each of these lines, and I cured for 30 seconds in my big LED lamp.
Here are the lines or swirls after they were all finished. Absolutely love these. They were very simple and easy to do. And honestly, at this point in the nail set, I just knew I was going to love this nail set. I was just so happy, even though it took me so long. As I was working, I didn't even mind. Like, when I'm doing a nail set that I don't like and it's taking me forever, I mind and I get bored and like I just want to be done but with this nail set I loved it so much and just wanted to see the finished product that I kept going and going. So now I'm going to be taking this hot pink and creating some hearts. These are also very beginner friendly and easy to do. I just took a dotting tool and I know I I took the liner brush and put some on a palette even though I was saying that these are so useful. You could have just kept it in the bottle and dot the brush in the bottle but it was just easier for me to put it on my palette and just dot the brush and then dot, put the dots on my nail and then I used the brush to create the hearts. This is very easy to do. Doing these hearts, like I really just love doing hearts. No matter if it's Valentine's Day or not, I love heart nail art. It is just so easy and it turns out so cute every time. I love it. So you can see me just taking the two dots. I place them side by side but not touching. And then I use the line art brush to pretty much draw the heart. And then after I have the hearts drawn on, I do cure in my nail lamp for 30 seconds. And then I will be repeating the same exact thing on my pinky. But I'm just going to go ahead and do that off camera since you did see it on this nail. So here are both of these nails and they are finished except for the glossy top coat in the end. But now I'm going to move on to the rest of my fingers. And for the rest of my fingers, I am going to be doing the same exact thing on all three of them. So instead of showing all three, I just have decided that I wanted to show my middle finger, the whole process of my middle finger, and then I would just do the ring finger and thumb off camera since it was going to be the same thing. So I'm first starting off with that light pink in the hot, in the hot pink. And I'm taking my dotting tool and creating the two dots and then drawing on the heart. And I'm just going to be drawing medium to big size hearts going down the nail. And I'm just going to use the light pink and then the hot pink and then the light pink. And I do use my little flashy lamp to cure these in between sometimes just because I want to make sure that I don't bump them and mess them up. But in this video, I placed that little pink towel down to try to help me stay in frame. And honestly, I feel like it worked. I know that I was out of frame for a little bit of things, but I feel like placing that pink towel really helped. So if you thought it helped, please comment below. I'm really trying to practice to get in frame a lot more, and I feel like placing something like a towel or just something in frame where I know my hand needs to be by this will really help me. So I think that was a good idea on my end to do that since this was a lot of nail art and normally for nail art I am out of frame. But I'm just going to go ahead and let this play out and you can watch me draw on the hearts and then I will come back for the next step.
Alrighty, so here is the nail after I have on all of the hearts and the hearts have been fully cured in my big lamp. Now I'm going to be taking that white gel polish again. I did place it on my palette because I needed to use the dotting tool and then I'm going to be using the brush to create like those little stars, I guess these are. These were also very easy to do, especially with this gel liner. I don't know why, but I was really just having a good day with these gel liners. They were so easy to use and just very convenient and they really made this set. So I'm just taking that dot and from that dot I'm drawing four lines and I'm starting from the middle of that dot and just drawing out. These are very easy and I love that they brought some extra pop to the nail set. I feel like these went really well and since I was able to draw them really well, I just thought it looked so good. So I went ahead and I did this and then after I was completely finished with all four of them, I did cure for 30 seconds in my big nail lamp. Here are the stars and hearts. I just wanted to add one more thing. I wanted to go back in with this glitter gel liner and just take my dotting tool and put some dots throughout the nail. I really loved this glitter gel liner and I thought the little dots of glitter would really add to this nail set and honestly it did. It just made it look so cute and these dots were the easiest thing to do. So then I went ahead, cured that, and repeated the same thing on my ring and thumb. And here are how those nails turned out. Just look at how cute this nail set is, and it doesn't even have the glossy top coat yet. I'm now going to be taking the Beatles top coat. I love how thick the Beatles top coat is. It is great for a set like this because it really encapsulates all of the nail art and just makes it so shiny. So I went ahead, applied my top coat to all of the nails, cured, and here are how they are looking. Now I'm going to go ahead, take my cuticle oil, apply my cuticle oil, rub that in to nourish my cuticles, and just top off this nail set. And honestly, after I had that cuticle oil rubbed in, I was totally in love. This is probably my favorite Valentine's Day, Valentine's Day nail set I've created so far this year. I don't know what about it. I feel like it's the nude background with all of the pink hearts and just the pops of pink and the glitter and the white. I don't know. I just really loved these. They were so freaking cute and so long. I think the length was also giving it like a 10 out of 10 for sure. But comment below if you loved this nail set. I really thought it was so cute. I also loved that everything was hand drawn. It just made me feel so good that I was able to draw all of the nail art in this nail set and create a beautiful Valentine's Day nail set. So I really recommend purchasing these Beatles gel liners if you haven't already. I know that they do have different kits, but this one is the Valentine's Day themed kit, and I will have it linked down below. Again, here are the six colors that are included along with the swatches. All of these colors are so beautiful and would be great for any time of the year, but they would be absolutely perfect for a Valentine's Day nail set, especially if you wanted to recreate the set I did in today's video. I will have it linked down below along with my discount code, but I do just want to say thank you again to Slay by J for doing this video with me and make sure you guys hop over to her channel and watch her video for this nail collab. But as always, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.